Why does my greyhound bite his foot? How to stop chewing and nibbling today? It's highly frustrating when you catch your dog biting his foot, but you can't see what's bothering him. Don't worry, this happens to all dog owners sometimes. You're not unobservant. The cause of your dog's paw chewing is often something that can't be seen from the outside. So, in answer to your question, the most obvious reason would be to relieve injury or irritation of the paw, perhaps from a splinter, a wound, or having stepped in something that's irritating his pads. When there's no visible damage to the paw, a common cause is allergies. If, however, the dog is not showing any allergy symptoms, he may be responding to pain from a strain, injury, or deterioration elsewhere in his body. So, the two basic reasons why a dog chews on his paw are to get something off of it and to relieve discomfort. When you catch your dog chewing on his paw, you can and should stop him with a distraction, because if it becomes a habit, your pet could chew it to the point of injury and infection. This video is going to help you get to the root of the problem. Figuring it out yourself, if possible, will save you the expense and hassle of a veterinary visit. And if you're unsuccessful in finding the reason, you'll still have done something very valuable. You will have collected enough facts about your dog's condition to help his doctor make an accurate diagnosis. Assessing why your dog bites his foot. The fact that you're watching this video tells me that you may need to look at your dog's paw now, but don't snatch up that paw just yet. Be sure he understands that you're there to help him. You know, some dogs are complete marshmallows, but others don't like having their paws touched. One thing every owner must work on with his dog is training him to have his paws handled. Paw check pre-training. Retired racing greyhounds are usually wonderful about having their paws examined because each dog is checked over by his trainer all over after every race. My first greyhound, Peaches, would even offer me the afflicted paw whenever there was a problem. It was quite funny. She'd flop onto the ground and stick her paw up into the air. If it happened during a walk, she'd halt and she'd gracefully lift the injured paw up off the ground. It was so cute. While you're training him to have his paws handled, also take the time to train him to lay down on his side on command, because it's much more difficult to examine a paw on a standing dog. So it's a good thing that dogs usually chew their feet while they're laying down. Gather a few useful items. After you tell your dog to stop nibbling, take a moment to gather up a few things, a flashlight, a magnifying glass, some clear tape, a helper, and a clean, damp rag. This infographic shows you how these items will make your task easier. I've also found it very valuable to have these gadget glasses which combine flashlight and magnifying and are hands-free to boot. This can be especially important if you have to do this on your own. Check the foot. Of course, the first place to check is the spot where the dog's been biting. If you don't see a wound or a splinter, look closer for a tick. Dog ticks, although they're kind of large, can be difficult to spot if one's embedded in your dog's skin or between his pads. Then some ticks, such as the deer tick, are very small and can be easily mistaken for a bit of leaf or dirt. A young deer tick is about the size of a poppy seed, an adult only the size of a sesame seed. After we clear up these basics, I'm going to reveal to you a surprising cause of paw biting coming up in just a few minutes. So you're probably wondering where the clear tape comes in. If there are any ticks or anything on your dog's skin, gently use the tape to effectively remove it. If you grab something with the tape, fold it over and seal it in. This creates a specimen which may be helpful to your veterinarian later on. Be sure to take pictures of the affected area as well. Then you want to check the paw from every angle, including each toe and claw and where the claw meets the toe. Also check each toe from every angle, including between the toes and both sides of the webbing. If you've never taken a good look at your greyhound's toes, you may be surprised to find that they are indeed webbed. Once you're sure that none of these things are present, check the skin for irritation. Naturally, it may be irritated just from being gnawed, so look closely. See if there are any small dots that can indicate an insect bite or a rash. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe so you'll get a heads up whenever I create a new one. It's free. Go deeper. If there's no visible problem, Gently touch the area, watching closer for any reaction. I have to warn you, dogs can be very stoic. A greyhound often reacts only the first time you touch a sensitive area, and even then that reaction may be limited to just a little creep of the skin or even just a roll of the eye. If you still haven't found the problem, then you want to carefully check the whole foot. Gently flex his joints. Over at my Greyhound Home Care website, I feature a video where an expert will walk you through a really good quick check for injuries. 
Why it's important to observe your paw chewing dog for additional symptoms. I was surprised to learn from the Forever Vets Hospital blog that a dog may chew his paw in reaction to pain that's occurring elsewhere in his body. For example, they say older dogs may be reacting to the pain of arthritis and to watch for limping and stiffer movement. So if you can't figure out why your dog's chewing on his foot, you really should have your veterinarian take a look at him. Believe it or not though, your vet might not be sure of the reason either. It often depends on how much information you can give him right up front. The fact is that there's a vast range of things that could be causing the chewing, so you may not be totally surprised when I tell you that sometimes even the vets get the diagnosis wrong. This was also picked up on by Dr. Peter DeBias, who became frustrated with the lack of relief that some of his paw chewing patients experienced after being treated by fellow vets. So if the vet checks your dog's paw and finds there's an injury, well that's easy to treat. If he can't immediately find the reason for paw chewing, however, he'll often choose to just treat the dog for allergies on the assumption that it might be that. After all, it is a very common cause, and if the treatment doesn't work, there's no harm done to the dog. You see, time's money, so the vet has to do the best he can with the time he's got. A surprising cause of paw biting and licking. Dr. Tobias hit on the idea that the itching might have a neurological cause. What he said was, surprisingly, most of the patients that lick their front feet had signs of lower cervical inflammation and discomfort. The dogs that licked their forearms had muscle spasms and inflammation in the interscapular region. Wow, when my Shannon did that, I thought he was just trying to get a bad taste out of his mouth. Anyway, he goes on to say that those that were licking their hind feet often had signs of injury in the lumbar spine. That's the origin of nerves supplying the hind feet. He said he also noticed that front paw lickers often pulled on their leash or their guardians used a collar attached to a retractable leash. The dogs with hind foot licking were often sprinters, like greyhounds, or ball retrievers and frequently had signs of paraspinal muscular injuries and strain of the lumbar spine. And that's why when you see your dog merrily nibbling away, hold the phone for a moment. Now this tip could be a game changer for your dog. Before you call the doctor, observe exactly how your dog is munching on his paw. Maybe even make a short video clip and then make a list of all of his other health symptoms and problems, even if you think they're totally unconnected, because sometimes there is a connection after all. How do I stop my dog from chewing his paws? Remedies and prevention. While walking your dog, prevent burnt pads by keeping your dog in the shade or on the grass on hot days. Prevent frostbite by shortening walks in frigid weather. Protect pads against both heat and cold with a good paw cream, such as Musher's Secret. Keep your dog off any lawn that may have been treated with toxic pesticides. Be aware that these chemicals are also often present on the street close to the grass, and sometimes halfway out into the road as well. Clean paws off after walks. Clean those paws off after walks to remove road salt and other chemicals that might irritate the dog's skin or even be carcinogenic. A paw plunger makes fast work of this and is less messy. I used to use a plastic container, but the dog kept kicking it over. De-ice your paths using paw safe ice melt. This particular one has saved my pets from a lot of sore paws. And then be a blessing to other dog owners who are facing this problem by hitting one of the share buttons below. Your share of this video could save a lot of sore paws. Will saliva heal wounds? Should you let your buddy take matters into his own hands, or in this case, his own mouth? The AKC website says that scientific evidence suggests that dog spit and even human spit has some antibacterial and even antimicrobial properties. They say that it's even slightly antibacterial against E. coli and strep, both of which can be passed from your animals to humans. In addition, a dog's tongue is very good at loosening any dirt from a wound. However, they emphasize that this is only slightly true. They say that modern medicine is much better these days at wound healing and that veterinary antiseptic products are a much better alternative to dog spit. Here are some resources for further information because this video, it's just a starting point for you. You need to visit the Greyhound Home Care website to read my resource article that I wrote, which is linked below in the description. From there, you can link to the products I've mentioned and learn more about your buddy's potential paw problem with more in-depth articles. My articles are loaded with research from certified veterinarians, and hey, where else can you get free advice from real veterinarians, right? An opportunity like this doesn't present itself every day. For example, this one from the Forever Vets Clinic has 14 reasons why dogs chew or lick their paws. You don't want to miss Dr. Peter DeBias's fascinating look at the hidden causes of paw licking and biting.
And to complete your pool of knowledge, the AKC's deep dive into the medicinal properties of dog spit. Was that too many puns? Share your love of the 40 mile an hour couch potato with your fellow travelers on life's highway with this sticker. It's perfect for your car. It says, if you were a Greyhound, you'd be home by now. And it's available today at the Greyhound Home Care store. And I'll see you next time on the Greyhound Home Care channel.